Yo, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Psychic Cup in the Great League. So let's see what team are we going to be running. We're going to be trying out the Malamar paired with the Bruxus in the back and the uh, Galarian Slow Bro. So we're going to stay in for now and we'll see what happens here. We are going to throw the Spout Play here. The Spout Play is going to grab a shield from our opponent. Now we're going to see if we can squeak out another shield or maybe another foul play um they do decide to go for the psychic and we can resist that they are going to be using the koopa so we're going to go into our brushes here and absolutely just take them out they're going to come back in here and we're going to use this uh psychic thing right here to potentially deep up them and maybe grab a shield so they do decide to shield that so just like that they're down two shields and we're going to come back in with the Malamar and go for this foul play. This is going to take out the um, Meow and they're going to uh, come in with their Claydol. So we're going to go and go for the Malamar. Malamar is going to go for this foul play and they are able to tank it. So we're going to have to switch out of there and go into our Slowbro. Slowbro is going to have to shield the Scorching Sand. And just like that, we are going to be able to reach a move. So GG our opponent able to win that game with the slow bro. Um, even though we are taking super effective fast move damage. But the key was we were um, having two shields at the end right there so that we could win the game. Okay, next game. Let's see if we can get some more wins. We're going to go and face... Uh, Malamar versus the Claydol. Okay, favorable matchup here. Definitely don't want to see the Claydol onto our slow bro. We are going to stay in for now. They're going to switch out into their um, Gardevoir. But unfortunately for them, we do have a Poison user. And it's going to just farm them down. So because that was the farm down, we are able to come out with a bunch of energy. One Brutal Swing does get thrown. It does grab a shield, but... Um, it looks like they're going to invest their resources into this Claydol. Uh, second Brutal Swing, and they're going to go for the Farm Down, which is fine because we can just come back in here with the Bruxus and apply the pressure. This is going to be an easy shield right here. If we get deep up, we can switch out at the, out of the situation if, if need be. Um, looks like they are going to be able to reach another Scorching Sand, so we're going to have to tank this move right here. And we do avoid the debuff, and so that is fantastic. They come back in here with the Draper Rig. Draper Rig is not going to be um, a good answer, but we're going to have to shield here even though it is a debuff situation. We have to build up to two, and we are going to get to two foul plays. One foul play does get fired off. It is going to grab a shield, so they are no longer... Um, Available. They no longer have any more shields. We're going to go for another foul play. Take out the Rafferick and look for the farm down. And we do get the farm down. So DG's to our opponent. Able to win that game with the uh, Malamar at the end right there. Um, Yeah, the, the, the team kind of revolves around the Malamar and the slow row. Uh, to uh, feature that core. The Bruxus is generally just a... Um, just a fast move pressure Pokemon. So in a way it's kind of ABA, but you know, another way we're just trying to get um, the Bruxes in a favorable situation. Okay, we'll get the um, Slowbro versus this Chimeco. It is gonna be able to get to another Brutal Swing. This is gonna get the Shield or it's gonna get the KO. Our opponent here does elect to let it go. Interesting. So they're looking for the farm. Okay, they are going to get a good amount of farm with the Claydol. The Slowbro here is going to have to um, get farmed down, unfortunately. And then we're going to come back in here with the Malamar. They have energy advantage, so we're going to have to try their best to either force shield or keep this Malamar healthy. They decide to switch out into their um, Rapidash. Rapidash here is going to have to get through our Bruxes. Looks like they are going to spam the body slams. Um, we are going to have to shield this one because we need to get this rapid dash either low enough or out of here. You can see we're, we're looking to try to get to the farm and 
Our opponent is aware of that, so they're going to be able to throw a move. This body slam here does get shielded, and we're going to see if we can um, either grab some, grab this last shield, or get this low enough that we can win the game um, with our Malamar. They do decide to tank that Aquatil, and that is amazing. Nice call by them. It is now it's just a matter of trying to get to two moves, and they were able to survive that. So GG's for opponent. That was a really good call by them. Uh, realizing that their their Play-Doh was tanky and the Aqua Tail, even though it was super effective, was not going to get them low enough. So, well played by them. I think if we had gone for Psychic Fame, we would have been able to farm down. So that was kind of a 50-50 call, honestly. All right, here we go. We got the Malamar versus the Victini. This Victini here. Um, okay, decides to switch out into the Rapidash, and luckily we do have the Slow Bro. This is going to be a great opportunity for a one shield farm down. Let's see what our opponent ends up throwing here. Okay, Mega Horn. So we are definitely going to be able to farm down, I believe. Um, not before they go for another move. This should be Body Slam. Yeah, there's Body Slam, and we're going to come out with a good amount of energy. They still have that big teeny. Let's see what they have lurking in the back. We are going to be able to have. Okay, looks like Malamar is lurking. We are going to be able to throw this brutal swing. Um, and then we're going to see what we throw here. We're going to go for another brutal swing here because we think that uh, we can get to another brutal swing if they allow us to get there. Okay, we do grab a shield anyways. Looks like our opponent here does end up um, investing a shield, which is good news for us. They take out our slow bro. We're going to come in here. We're going to come back in here with the Malamar. We need to apply a lot of pressure here because we need to get this low enough for a farm down or come out with a ton of energy. We know this Malamar is going to chip away at our Malamar health. They decided to go for the superpower and dip. So an interesting play. They are going to have the Victini. This Victini here is looking to try to take out our Bruxes. We're going to shield here because we're going to try to farm this thing down after this um, additional V crate. So double debuff at this point, we do survive that V crate. We do get the farm. And it looks like our opponent here does elect to try to um, catch a move or something. But unfortunately, we were aware of that. And it's just a simple farm down at that point. So um, nice play by us. I think the fact that the Bruxes was able to apply a lot of pressure with the um, fast move um, is the key to this um, team right here, especially with the main core weakening everything. Okay, Malamar versus the Claydol here. We are going to stay in. We definitely don't want this Claydol onto our Slowbro. Here, we're going to have to just throw this foul play here. It's going to either get some huge damage or get a shield. Our opponent here has got us into around the 50% mark. So we're going to have to um, just tank this here. Ooh, they decide to go for the snipe. So they're running the uh, clay doll and charm user. Likely we do have an anti charmer. So we are able to farm that completely. Our opponent here does go back into their clay doll. But unfortunately for them, we do have the brushes. And this brushes here is going to wreak havoc with these um, a bite to fast moves. So this is going to get worse for them because this is a psychic thing and it's going to deep up and grab a shield and they realize that that is GG's right there. So check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoyed the video.